uh, everyone. Um, so first of all, I want to say that um, <clears throat> a while back, I made a, a, a kind of statement about wanting to see better notes um, and all of that. In any case, you guys are doing great. I'm really, really happy with the quality of work coming out of this class. Um, I don't write a lot of commentary on a lot of your papers. Um, I don't always get involved in the chat groups why I would like. Um, I will usually only get involved, and you may notice this, um, with the discussions if I think there needs to be some clarity um, or I just want to kind of address something, you know, that was was um, put in there, some food for thought on, on, on the discussion. But for the most part, I let you guys do this discussion with yourselves, and I think you guys do a great job. And again, I'm mainly getting uh, a very quality notes, quality papers. I'm happy. Um, and I'm hoping that you're enjoying where you're at so far with this. Um, I also just want to clarify something about um, this week's lectures. Um, you'll notice, if you, if you pay attention, um, th these lectures come from my Western Civ class because Greece gets incorporated into World Civ and into Western Civilization. And instead of redoing um, the lectures for this class, um, there would only be a little bit of, of tweaking that I'd be doing. Um, and so just just so you follow that. And um, the way I had it set up before, you would watch the video that I already had you watch um, for this la last section on the Greeks and the Persians. You can watch that again for your own benefit if you think it would help you uh, learn more. Um, I, um, I'm also... Uh, having kind of a restatement about Zoroastrianism in Persia in one of the lectures. Um, feel free to just kind of brush over that, uh, you know, glance at that um, section if, if you want to just, again, you know, just to, to kind of um, keep reminding yourself about it and you want to go over that again, um, that's fine, but I'm okay with if you just kind of restate some things you've already known and learned about uh, Zoroastrianism and, and Persia um, from this section that I have on Greece, because as you're seeing, the dichotomy of Persia and Greece is kind of a thing, and you're going to see that more in the lectures uh, for this week. Um, and then I end with a, a long documentary. I want you to write, I think I said six points on. It's really good and it really draws in all this world culture and world religion and the fact of understanding how Greek became a kind of global language you know why the New Testament is written in Greek is because of Alexander the Great basically you know you could say and and it was written in Greek in Egypt of all places the, the first translation of the Bible uh, to be specific, so actually, the New Testament is written in Greek because of Alexander the Great. But the even the Old Testament was first translated into Greek, if you remember, in Alexandria, Egypt, named after Alexander, Alexander the Great, leaving his name to this day in Egypt and uh, all over the world. And so, um, watch that uh, and um, you know take some good notes on it. And then you'll just watch one more clip from Crash Course. He speaks fast, but again, you'll just give, give you some extra added thoughts on Alexander the Great, which I don't uh, really cover in depth in my lectures. Um, um, so that's all I wanted to say on that. And um, if there's any other further questions, uh, I want you to always call me. And I also want to remind you that it's better to always get a hold of me through a text or a phone call than through my email. I can't stress that enough, okay? Um, all right, so everybody have a, a great week, and I hope you enjoy this next section.